it. Kind of a cold, cloudy, gray, typical Ohio day in November here. Got some snow flurries sitting here and there. Had some snow and rain yesterday. We've uh, got some corn we've already done this year. Haven't filmed any of that really because, well, like I've stated in many of my videos, everybody's probably tired of hearing labor shortages. So we've been doing barn chores and when we're done in the barn, we go combine for a little bit and then have to quit. Go back to the barn, do some more chores, go back to combine and it kind of makes for a chopped up mess and nobody's gonna enjoy watching that. I sure am not gonna enjoy editing that. So I don't bother filming it because just gonna be aggravated trying to make a video out of it. But anyway, so today we're, we're moving car and these two bins here in the center of the yard here at the main farm are our dryer bins. Um, we don't have a continuous flow dryer or anything. We've just got dryer bins. I have stir all of them and a burner on them. So what we gotta do is we, we run our wet corn in there, we dry it, then we gotta transfer it to our storage bins. Down here on the south side of the yard here, there's two bins on the end there we put uh, corn in that we grind for feed. We also grind the corn that's in there after it's been dried and everything else is full for feed. These two end bins down here are typically the bins that we we use for sale. We typically get to sell everything that's in those bins. So right now we're moving dry corn that we've been drying over the past couple days here out of the smaller bin here at the 3500 bushel dryer. We're moving that down here to this end 5000 bushel GSI bin. We've uh, got these two end bins down here full, working on filling this uh, 5,000 bushel storage bin on the end. Then we'll go ahead and refill, probably both these dryers, run them and dry them again. Then we'll, got, we'll have a little bit of shuffling around to do, but in the meantime, we're gonna transfer all this corn out and get it moved. Wish it was a, a nicer day, but I guess, what do you expect in November in Ohio? I guess this is probably about as good as it gets. We did have a nice shot of weather there for about, oh, I don't know, a week and a half, two weeks there. It's really appreciative of that. You know, we planted our wheat after we took our beans off, and we really wanted some good weather for that wheat to get established, and thankfully we were granted that. We had some nice, warm, sunny days that wheat up, established, it looks good. So we'll at least be able to be happy about that. So we're gonna keep plugging away here, moving some grain, freezing our butt off. It's Ohio. Let's get after it. So how we typically do this, um, we don't have a grain vac or anything. We very much want one that's on the list. But we uh, we just use a truck auger, pull all that dryer in there, run it into a wagon, and then pull that wagon after it's full up here to the swing away. We'll dump it in the swing away. It'll go in that old tire there we use as a collection point. Run up that auger, dump in the bin. And while that one's unloading, I'll pull the second wagon that's currently parked behind us there up underneath the truck auger, load another one. That way things kind of keep rolling continuously. Now obviously that truck auger there and that bin, or bin auger there isn't going to be able to keep up with that 8 inch auger there. 
So naturally I can unload faster than I can load. So you'll end up with a little bit of downtime here where I guess you just pull the tracker up, shut it off, stand here and watch this. That way you don't run it over. Because nobody likes cleaning up a mess of corn all over the ground. Nobody likes looking at it either. So we're we're getting up there now. You can see it's starting to pile up. Pull up a couple times, get that thing completely topped off. Once she's done, we'll pull up, unload, pull that one up and start loading it while that one's unloading. That's just kind of how we do things here. Works pretty good. Grain back would be much better. It's on the list. to open the bin up there and, and shovel the last little bit to get this wagon full. We're getting onto the bottom of that dryer bin there. Actually, after we switched wagons here, went ahead and put the sweep auger in there. That way we can clean the floor off and get everything all tidied up in there. Dad's in there running that. I'm out here running wagons. So, won't be too long here. We'll be done, at least with what we've got dry. Then we'll have to reset up and weather permits. Probably gonna sell some more corn tomorrow. I guess we'll see what's gonna happen in the morning, but in the meantime, we're gonna button this up, wrap things up for the day. Go on tight where it's a little warmer. Well, that's the last of that stuff from the dryer unloaded and put away. Got the tractors and wagons put back in here. Put the uh, swing away back in here. We're not gonna move this auger this evening. We'll do that probably first thing tomorrow after we get done with chores in the barn, but move all that over here and we'll probably set up on this this butler dryer first i think we'll fill that one after we're done with that we'll move and top off the the smaller 3500 bushel one then we'll run those two batches and once they're dry we'll move some more and fill some more and all that fun stuff so dad's closing up building here now and we're gonna run up to Roth Auto here uptown. We got a truck up there that's getting some repairs done. We're gonna go pick that thing up so we can haul cows in the morning. So I guess I will catch up with you guys on another day. Good afternoon, folks. Well, we're back at it today. We're back to combining some corn kind of part way through the day here late afternoon as usual did barn chores and everything this morning uh, set up and unloaded one load this morning of uh, corn ground feed and then had barn chores to do after lunch got that all finished up just grabbed a combine headed on over to John's 
start combine some more corn. This is the first load from over there. We're unloading now. About 25% moisture. Uh, it's been a couple days since we moved that last batch of dried corn. That's the last thing I filmed here. Had some pretty heavy snow there for a few days. You wouldn't really know it too well by looking around now. It's kind of a little melted and gone away. There's some remnants up there next to the barn, way over there on the barn bank, you can see. But it's definitely a cold one today. Day started out with teens was the actual temperature. Real fuel was down in the single digits. I think morning scraping, it was real fuel of two degrees. It was quite wonderful. I'm not quite ready for this. I mean, I know it's that time of year. Just not quite ready to be cold all the time, but unfortunately it comes with the job. Can't go sit inside. Can't combine corn from inside or unload corn from inside. I mean, I suppose if you had a, I don't know, a tractor with a cab, I suppose I could sit in the daggone thing while I unload, but then you can't monitor stuff, so. I'm out here unloading corn. I'll get this load unloaded and run back, grab some more. We got about, I think 15 or 16 acres over there is how big that field is. We're trying to get that knocked out this afternoon. Well, as you can see, I'm starting to lose daylight already. Doesn't take too long this time of year to get to that 4.35 o'clock hour mark. Starts heading south on you. I've got, I don't know, four or five loads, something like that, unloaded into here. Don't know how much of this really to be filming. You know, it's the same thing over and over again. I try to keep things interesting, keep it from being boring, where you're just watching you know, the same thing over and over again. So, didn't film much so far. I don't know. Bring it back, unload and go get another one. That's kind of the name of the game here. I uh, just got done turning the stir all on in that bin. You can hear the distributor running right now. That's what that splattering sound is. So that bin has a, uh, a motor up top, right where the auger drops in up there. And there's kind of a splash pan on it and that thing spins around and it's distributing the corn all the way around the bin. It kind of flings it all the way to the outside. So you're actually filling from the outside wall towards the center all the way around 360 degrees. But I turned this stir all on. That's the actual thing that has the augers coming down that does exactly what it says. It stirs, it mixes the corn. So as we're running the dryer, what that's doing is you have your hot air coming in the bottom and it's taking that corn that's on the bottom that's now dry and actually taking it to the top because the grain that's wetter is heavier and by gravity it will work its way down. So it's taking the lighter corn, the dry corn from the bottom to the top and the heavy stuff which is wet is falling down. But in this case while you're filling you can use it to, to keep the bin level. Also, you know, if you draw out of it you can kind of use it to, to level up. You know, if you're a your sump auger as you're unloading other bin stops running you can turn it on and and run it to try to get it run a little bit longer but that's running now if you don't turn it on when you're uh, filling with corn it says what is this this is anywhere from 22 to 25 percent moisture you don't turn it on early in the game here what will actually end up having is the corn will kind of set up get firm and stiff in there because of the moisture and obviously the temperature out here isn't helping right now it's cold so if you don't turn it on early, the augers will actually just kind of get stuck. So then you have to have two people, one person out here to turn it on, and one person inside with a pipe wrench on the auger trying to just wiggle it. You, you obviously don't turn it on while you're hooked to it. You know, you turn it, get it freed up, you know, get off of it, and let somebody turn it on, see if it's free. And if it's free, leave it run, get out, and, and let it run its course. So turn it on early so we didn't have to deal with that. It's definitely getting colder. I mean, it wasn't real warm when I started, but it's definitely getting more brisk. I'm glad to have this little face mask my wife bought me for, I think it's Christmas last year. Never had one, always thought they looked interesting. 
I always just use, I don't know what you want to call it, a little beanie cap or whatever in the winter time. But you turn your head and the daggone thing, you know, your ear comes out the other side or whatever. And, and what we do, you know, my head's moving all the time, especially when I'm scraping the barnyard, you know, you're turning around watching your scraper and backing up around things. So I'm glad to have this little thing here. It'll definitely make things a little nicer this winter, but I'll go back to unloading corn. It's gonna be dark here pretty directly. So keep plugging away here. Wrapping up over there with the combine now. Pretty well on the last pass as I was driving by. I'm gonna get this load unloaded, put away. Then I'll probably run back over there and grab that last wagon. Depend on what he wants to do when we get back. Might just call it a day, might not. Might finish unloading it, I don't know. We got stuff to put away here, tractor and all that. So we're gonna get this stuff unloaded. And get things wrapped up for the day.